You fucking phantom. I've been chasing you for three goddamn years. What do you like for this, Tom? Maybe you in the chair. You don't want the guy who was punching tickets. You want the guy who was handing them out. So that's what this has been all about, huh? You offering up Salieri. The Don's books. The ones Frank stole. I have them. They're enough to put Salieri away forever, and they're yours. Assuming we have a deal. My family. For the Don. You recognize anyone? Look again. <sighs> Old man, that's Don Papone, two younger lads of Morello and Salieri. Yeah. Okay, I see it. That must be what? 1920? April. Morello's wedding. Salieri was the best man. Jesus. They're just kids. Now they're Eddie's soldiers in Papone's mob. So what happened? How did they go from being best mates to Morello on a slab? I don't know. I didn't even know they were friends. <laughs> but you don't know could fill up the fucking crash they're building. In 22... Pone drowns up at the lake. Okay? In order to keep things running smoothly, Salieri and Morello agreed to dip you up the city. Yeah, I heard the story, so what? Well, their friendship should have made the deal work, but it didn't make a lick of difference. After Morello, Salieri was beaming, thinking we ran the whole damn town. Me, I was just happy the war was over. But then I got to thinking about something. What good? It was all of Morello's money if it couldn't protect him from a regular Joe like me. Cabby, for Christ's sake. It only got him one thing. A great big bullseye in his fucking forehead. And that thought... It just kept turning round and round in my head until one day... I'm looking in a mirror. I start seeing a bullseye too. Right here. Dry your tears in the water hundreds, do you? I wasn't about to give up the good life, I know that. I just told myself that I was smarter than Morello. That I wouldn't turn around one day and find Polly or Sam could point a gun at my head. The thing is, you don't see it. When you're out on the street, scrapping, fighting for your life, then the guy next to you isn't just your partner, he's your brother. You'd stick a knife in someone for your brother, right? But at night, you lie awake, wondering what he and Adam were whispering about behind the bar. Wondering if your best friend is hungry enough to betray you. Electric gun there. Does the game stay going or just gonna crush it? Any trouble? No bass, no trouble at all. Got something else for me? feels a little light. There's a little extra in mind to cover the difference. You ever go swimming, Tom? Been to the shore a few times, sure. I knew a couple of guys once. Took some dames out to the lake. Had a few beers, a few laughs. Then one of them decides to go in the water. Gets to the center of the lake and realizes he's running out of steam. Can't make it back in. 
start shouting for help. Now the other guy, he's a strong swimmer. He goes out in the lake to drag his buddy back to shore. Problem is, the first guy, the one too stupid to know when the water's too deep for him, he panics. Grabs his friend by the neck and they both go under and don't come up again. Paulie's your friend. And I know you're loyal to him. And I respect that. But don't you ever pay his tab again. Okay, boss. Good. Now, we gotta talk about this Turnbull. The guy running for governor? The same. He's been flapping his gums a lot about cracking down on our businesses. <laughs> That's rich. He spent more on whores than Paulie and Sam combined. <laughs> you want me to pay him a visit? Maybe put him on a take? No. You can't trust the hypocrite, Tom. We need to end his campaign aspirations, and in a way that keeps anyone from stepping up to the same platform. Vinny have a plan then? Of course. Turnbull's holding a rally near Central Island. The spot he picked is hard to reach and out in the open. You should have a beautiful view of the rally from the tower of the old prison. From there, you can give Turnbull a third eye. Okay. I'll go see Vinny about the gun. Don't forget, you only got one shot. You miss, and this crew will usher him out of there quick. I'm the best shooter you got. Otherwise, you'll be talking to someone else. And get it done. Ha 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 When do I get checkpoints around here? Hey, handsome. <laughs> Ladies. You're wasted on that wife of yours. You know that? Uh, he'll never look up. Hey, Tommy. Boss says you got something for me. I got a shipment in from a guy at Fort Stanmore. Well, Salieri wants this to run like clockwork, so no heat till the guy's head bursts. I hit little Tony, stash one of these, where you need it. So, up high in the old prison? Yeah. Family's got a lot of history in that place. Hoods who live there now ain't so classy. So watch yourself. Little Tony locked the rifle up tight in a room with a view. Up on the top floor. Sick of that politician shit in the papers, Tommy. We own this town now. Right between the eyes, huh? Find a way inside and make for the guard tower. Top deck is locked. That's what the key's for. All right. Politicians come at us, we come back at them hard. That's how Lost Heaven's gonna learn. So where is it then? I don't see it here. Still on the table. No, it says get to the prison. Well, uh, most of this was cutscenes, but uh, I've got to keep the sections between 10 and 15 minutes. See you next time.